Hate mammograms? A lot of women do. Some doctors are offering an alternative. Instead of x-rays, they're using thermal scans to look for breast cancer. Go ahead and put your hands on top of your head. We're going to get started. It's not painful. Nobody should save for pregnancy. I really like the technology. of Shira Raisin is about to undergo a breast cancer screening even though she's pregnant. She's getting checked now because... It's been about 12 months since um, my last... And even though she wants a clean bill of health... Definitely don't want any exposure to x-rays. So instead of a mammogram, she's getting a thermogram. Santa Monica family practice doctor Lawrence Swerdloff is one of just a few physicians who offer them. It's no radiation. Uh, it's completely non-invasive. You sit in front of the camera and we take pictures. Thermographic cameras measure temperature. Some airports use them to screen travelers for fevers associated with flu and TB. But for more than 30 years, they've also been used quietly to screen for precursors to breast cancer. They're like a thermal fingerprint. New blood vessels associated with breast tumors can generate heat, and Swerdloff says that can be picked up on a thermogram. A little hotspot is indicating inflammation or heat or something going on there and it may be tumor. No major medical organization endorses thermograms for breast cancer screening. The American Medical Association, the Academy of Obstetrics and Gynecology, and the American College of Radiology all consider thermograms investigational. Instead, they recommend annual mammograms for women over 40. But Dr. Swerdloff says it makes her uneasy. Radiating the breast every year seems to me potentially dangerous. A concern shared by lots of women who come to see her. Because radiation has been known to cause certain cancers. Denise Barrett believes she's at higher than normal risk because she's already been diagnosed with breast cancer. It was detected by her first mammogram six years ago. Before she had the cancer removed, she underwent a thermogram and... Well, it did pick up my cancer. The breast tissue is hotter up in this upper outer quadrant than it is in the side. That's where her breast cancer was. After Denise's tumor was removed... Hello, Denise. Hi. I went back and got another thermogram, and there was no cancer. Denise has been getting them every six months ever since. Her oncologist doesn't like that she's been skipping her mammograms, but Denise says she feels safer with this. As for Shira, she'll probably go back to her mammograms every other year after she's done breastfeeding her new baby. She's a physician herself, and it's what she recommends for her patients. But she won't give up her annual thermogram. It's going to pick things up earlier than other technologies. Dr. Swerdloff acknowledges that thermograms can show unusual heat patterns in breasts before cancer shows up on a mammogram or biopsy. Critics call that a weakness, but... The benefit is, is that if you have somebody with a positive thermogram that carries a higher risk, you have the opportunity to do some other different things. Thermography costs about $300. It is not covered by insurance. If a scan looks suspicious, Dr. Swerdloff recommends follow-up screening with a mammogram or MRI, as well as lifestyle changes to decrease overall cancer risk. No single tool can pick up every case of cancer. So Dr. Swerdloff says women at high risk are encouraged to use multiple screening methods.